We've made more progress in the last 10 years than in any other period in history combined. Dirt floors, no running water, no electricity, and that's really what I see all over the world. So in short, I'm startled by all the things that they don't have. But I am surprised by one thing that they do have. Coca-Cola. Coke is everywhere. How is it that they can get Coke to these far-flung places? If they can do that, why can't governments and NGOs do the same thing? We need to learn from the innovators. And those innovators come from every single sector. And I think there are really three things we can take away from Coca-Cola. They take the data and they use it to measure progress. They have this very continuous feedback loop. They learn something, they put it back in the product, they put it back into the market. In development, the evaluation comes at the very end of the project. And by then, it is way too late to use the data. So what's the second thing that Coke's good at? Well, they're good at tapping into that local entrepreneurial talent. Coke noticed something. They noticed that local people were taking the product, buying it in bulk, and then reselling it in these hard-to-reach places. And so they took a bit of time to learn about that. And they decided in 1990 that they wanted to start training these local entrepreneurs, giving them small loans. They set them up as what they called micro-distribution centers. And those local entrepreneurs then hire salespeople who go out with bicycles and push carts and wheelbarrows to sell the product. They represent 90% of Coke sales. So let's look at the development side. What is it that governments and NGOs can learn from Coke? Well, the governments and NGOs need to tap into that local entrepreneurial talent as well because the locals know how to reach the very hard to serve places and they also know what their neighbors and they know what motivates them to make change. Now the third component of Coke's success is marketing. What's the secret to their marketing? Well, it's aspirational. It associates that product with the kind of life that people want to live. So even though it's a global company, they take a very local approach.